last. Then I will be last. Uh, to share with you what we learned when we were traveling from the airport. <laughs> Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm very happy to be here. Amen. I'm very happy to see the happy faces. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm Washington. Washington. I'm from Kenya. Because you don't have much time, I just want to share a very brief what I have learned from the man of God. Praise the Lord. And when he is here today, he has come to help the ministers here to be equipped with the ministry of God. It is not only a matter of studying the Bible, but actually a lot of things you're going to be learning. For me, he has helped me a very great deal. Because uh, I learned a lot from him. Things pertaining the love of God. Because I didn't know actually that the Lord loves me. And I was not aware that the Lord is near me and He is blessing me every day. But when I attended His training, I learned that the Lord. God is with me. And that the Lord is blessing me every day. And that I can live in the love of God. Praise the Lord. And again, I didn't love my wife the way I love her today. Praise the Lord. But when I sat with him, he taught me a lot of things concerning love. Now, my relationship, the relationship in my marriage, it has now grown to some other level. So I'm here today, I'm sure today, and even tomorrow, how the things that you're gonna be learning here, it is going to bring an impact to your life. Your relationship with other people it will grow. The love, the love you have to your spouse, it will grow. The love, the love for God, it will grow. Praise the living God. A lot of things that I have learned from him. The Lord has used him to bless my life. Praise the Lord. Uh, in Kenya, he has also helped me to come up with a Bible school. Now the students, they have a class where they can come and study Bible school. So a lot of things I've learned from him. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. He has also taught me on how to pronounce some words in English. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and now team. my English is growing because of this man of God. He has been also teaching me on how to sing. He is a teacher. He can train me how to sing. You want to become a good singer? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. This man here can teach you. Oh, so 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 you, want to, you want to know how to pronounce some good English? Oh, he is qualified on that. Eh, eh, 
Mujivu ya hita mungecho. Praise the living God. So it's been, uh, it's been good actually to come with this money here so that he can teach. And his teachings are very simple. Very practical. Very practical. You know, in theology, we teach theory. Okay. Okay. But now, when he teaches his teachings, these teachings are simple, they are applicable, you can apply them very simple. Praise the Lord. So I don't want to talk a lot of things. I want to thank God that you have here, you have come to study. And the Lord is going to bless you. God bless you so much. He can share too. Yeah. Now you can you can share to your first your your Yes, I am going to share. English and then your language. Yes, just okay. please. So, come and interpret from here. Yeah. So, praise the living God. What come here as Ah, since yesterday, um, since yesterday, I started to be blessed. Ah, uh, not to say okay, because of the man of God from Hong Kong. I got new words which I never suspected. Ah, uh, I was knowing that I'm going to meet with a big man. Who is proud? But no, I, 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 I saw him very humbly. He's a very humble man, a man of God, who loves God very much. Uh, he told me that the pastors here in Uganda or in Africa will commonly preach a forcing gospel that you have, you have, you have, it is a must, it is a must. No, in God, it, it is just grace. That's what I learned. You, you, you have to show that it is just mercy. Because God is not for forcing God. What I learned that it is that God is a merciful God. Is is graceful God. What for us we, we, we are using it to, to, to force some people. But naefe to to amanyiro You have to repent. Once you fail to repent, you will die. No, it is not like that. I learned that. You, we have to, to request them. Uh, that, you, have, you, you need, God wishes you to be repent. We, we talk about the grace of God yeah, for us not to request. Yes, but yeah. Let them know how beautiful God is yes. to attract them to believe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I learned. That God is goddess of grace. And He's inviting each and everybody to come to his grace. Praise the God. So I, I, I hope I'm going to learn a lot of things here. Because yesterday it was just a, a, a few things which I learned. But today I am suspecting to have a lot of things, to learn a lot of things. Even now, the, the relationship between me and God he has increased because of the teaching which he taught me yesterday. Because once he, he, he teaches you, you have to, to, to understand and to, 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 make, to take it in practice. Praise the living God. May God bless you abundantly. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yesterday from the airport, uh, I was tired and sick. 
Bademur one day. So I did not get much of his words. But very few I got from him. He talked about the nature of God. That God has everything. Most especially, he talked about love of, of Jesus Christ. Because there is a verse we have in, the, in, in Matthew. Uh, that is chapter which, which says that come to me, those who are tired and labor, I will give you rest. And I will give you rest. So I, I learned that one. That the rest of the Christian. He is in Jesus Christ. And again he said that you first seek the kingdom of God the rest will be given to you. That is an indication ladies and gentlemen that we should not bother let us first seek about the kingdom of God the rest will be given to us. So those are a few words I got from you. And I thank God for that. Pastor Daniel, I'm my name. Uh, Pastor Daniel.